everyone, welcome to the next art tutorial. Today, we are going to do a tessellation. Before that, I will explain to you what tessellation is. Tessellation is a pattern which is made from repeating a shape like this that fits together without any gaps or spaces between them. There are three types of tessellation. Translation, rotation, and reflection of flip tessellation. But before doing the tessellation, we will need a shape template. This is the shape that we are going to use to do our three types of tessellation. Now, I'm going to show you how to create these templates. To do the template, we will need a square paper, a pencil, a scissors, and scotch tape. Now, let's start. On the top part of the paper, draw a line that forms a shape from one end to another. On the left side of the paper, draw another line to form another shape from one end to another. Remember not to draw this shape too big or too small on the paper. These two lines should not overlap each other. Let's cut these shapes out. Do not draw any cutouts. We will be using them to attach to the other sides of the paper. Watch this part carefully. I'm going to slide the top piece down to the opposite side. Next, slide the left piece to the opposite side of the paper. We are going to tape these two pieces down. Tape them carefully. Do not leave any gaps in between the joints. We are going to secure the joints by taping the reverse side. Next, neaten the excess tapes. This will change the shape of the template if you do not trim the excess tapes. I'm going to draw these arrows to make it easier for you to refer. Next, I'm going to use the same shape to do the rotation template. Slide the top piece to the nearest side like this. Now, slide the left piece also to the nearest side like this. Tape these two sides down carefully without leaving any gaps in between the joints. Don't forget to tape the reverse sides too. Trim the excess tapes. This is the rotation template. Next, using the same shape again, I'm going to create the reflection of flip template. This is a little tricky so watch this carefully. Slide the top piece to the opposite side and flip it. Do the same to the left piece. Slide it to the opposite side and flip it. Tape them down on both sides and trim the excess tapes. I'm going to call this the flip template. Now, let's start with the tessellation. I'm going to show you the translation tessellation first. Take the translation template, place it nicely on your paper and trace out the shape carefully. Once you are done tracing, you just have to slide the template to fit your traced shape. There should not be any gaps or overlapping. Remember, slide, fit, trace. Next, we are going to complete the next row. From the first traced shape, you just slide down your template, fit and trace. Repeat these steps until your whole paper is covered and there are no gaps and spaces. Next, I'm going to show you the rotation tessellation. Take the rotation template, trace out the first shape, then, slide and rotate until it fits the traced shape. Now, do the tracing. Once you are done, slide the template, rotate, fit, trace. Repeat the same steps to the bottom one. Slide, rotate, fit, trace. Repeat these steps until your whole paper is being filled up without any gaps or spaces in between the shapes. 
Next, we are going to do the flip tessellation. Take the flip template, trace out your first shape. Slot your template, flip it until it fits the traced shape, and do the tracing. Once you are done, slide, flip, fit, and trace. Do the same steps to the bottom row. Slide, flip, fit, trace. Repeat these steps until your whole paper is filled up without any gaps or spaces in between the shapes. Next, I'm going to show you how to outline the tessellation. You definitely want your artwork to have this kind of smooth finish. Am I right? Some of you may not have the confidence to do the outline. So you start outlining your work like this. It makes your artwork look furry, messy and untidy. The trick to do a smooth outline work is to hold your marker not too close to the tip. This way makes you have more fluidity when you are outlining big shapes like this. Do your outline work slowly but steady. Next is to figure out the most comfortable position to outline your work. You can turn your book according to your comfort before you start to outline your work. Once you are done drawing out your characters in your shapes according to the theme given by your teachers, you can use the set of drawing pens with different nib sizes to do the outlining. By using different sizes, you will have line contrast in your work. You don't want all your lines to have the same thickness. Using a set like this will help to add interest to your work. After you are done with all the outline work, you can start erasing your pencil line before colouring them. 